Hey everyone, so this video uh, is about how to hard code subtitles into a movie using VLC. There's other ways of doing it. Uh, I've tried this with Handbrake. Um, there's one or two other programs, but I couldn't get it to work with those. But with VLC, I was able to. The reason I needed to was uh, I needed a copy where the subtitles were hard coded into the video, into the film for Oliver Twist, which uh, is a movie that I'll use for English class. So I've already got it done, but I'm gonna show the process anyways. So first things first, open up VLC. It's actually fairly simple. You're gonna wanna go to Convert Save, and then do Add. Choose the movie. Again, I'm choosing the version without subtitles because I've already done it once. So this is the original movie, open. And then check use a subtitle file browse and then you want to choose the SRT file now if you don't know how subtitle files work uh, essentially you have the movie file and then you can download the subtitle file uh, which goes along with it and you can just Google search for that and the file extension will be SRT that file is essentially a text file that has timestamps for when each line is said and those timestamps will you know, show up on the, on the screen. Um, typically, the way to do it, or at least the old way to do it, was you would name the SRT file the same exact name as the video file, but without the MP4 extension or MKV extension. Uh, however, you know, with modern media players like VLC, uh, you can simply right-click the screen after you've started a video and do uh, select subtitle file and you can select the file with any name uh, but a simple Google search will let me see here will allow you to get the subtitles yeah. so uh, for instance if it were a Yiffy download let's say uh, you'd be able to find it here, which actually this has a lot of other downloads as well. So Yiffy and Axo and RAR BG. And if you don't know, these are common, um, basically movie pirates, more or less. Uh, but then you can find English and you can download. So YTS AG is Ify, and you can do download. It downloads a zip folder. Inside that zip folder is the SRT file. So let's do that real quick uh, so that I can show you exactly what I would normally do. So there's the zip file and here it is. And then you can extract it. Now the file is in there and to just play it, you can always just, just play it, just select this file. What I would normally do though is copy the file name and rename this to that. Now, as you can see, I've already done that. So I don't need to again. But that's how you would get SRT files, the actual subtitle file. Now, if I right click and do, uh, let's do edit with notepad. You can do open with and open it with notepad. And uncheck that. Uh, I have notepad plus uh, plus as well, which is kind of like notepad, but a code editor thing and it's freeware, but regular notepad would work. And you see the timestamps and the actual uh, words. And it's the whole script for the whole movie. It doesn't say who says what, it just says when for those, uh, when for those uh, text, lines of text, text to appear. Now, sometimes you'll get a subtitle file which does not match up to the movie because Perhaps the movie starts at a slightly different time. The download that you've got starts five seconds later or earlier. Uh, and I'll show you how that works. So let's close this. We don't need that. We've already got a subtitle file, so I can get rid of that. So at any rate, I'm gonna choose, here, I'll go back. You've chosen the movie. You've clicked use a subtitle file, browse. Choose the subtitle file, do open. Now. You can do uh, show more options, but uh, there's nothing in here that you should need to change. However, uh, click convert save 
the next part you may need to do something so we're going to click this little uh, wrench settings icon here now I would choose you have to choose mp4 mov actually uh, as far as I know because no I'm sorry you can choose mp4 or mkv uh, I don't believe that there are any other video formats that will allow you to do this I'm not certain though, I may be wrong about that, but for instance, AVIs don't work with subtitles to my understanding. You might be able to encode it, but I would choose MP4 because it's basically universal. So anyways, what you see, once you see this screen, click subtitles and make sure that these two things are checked, okay? Now there are, uh, so as for audio, it's just keeping with uh, some standard selections here. So 128 kilobits per second, Two channel left right 44,100 Hertz 48,000 is fine uh, if you have an option for 96,000 that would be fine but 44,100 is kind of the, the default standard video codec I would use H264 and then leave these the way that they are frame rate make sure it's same as source I believe that matters um, and then do save now, now I'm wrong there are some programs where you can uh, adjust the subtitles so if they don't match up you can sync them up by by adding in a buffer time or taking away a buffer time I don't see the option in this one um, but honestly VLC is the easiest thing that I found to use so this is what I would go with just make sure that you have the correct subtitle file first by double checking it making sure that it works once you're at this screen you see you've got destination file you can do browse we'll go with the desktop and let's name it OT2 and it's going to save it as mp4 and then just do save and then start and then it goes through the conversion process and you can see it right there now I'm not going to let it run all the way through I'm going to stop it because again I've already got one here but you can see it's going a bit faster than normal so uh, this particular video file I think is 24 frames per second 23.98 whatever standard NTSC uh, but you can see this is going at more than that. It's probably going approximately double that, maybe two and a half times as fast. And so this won't take two hours and 10 minutes to complete. It might take you know, 40 minutes, something like that. The amount of time will depend on your hardware, um, your hard drive or SSD, your processor and so on, um, how much memory you've got and everything. But it's a pretty good way of doing it. And once it's done, it will just say that it's finished. You can close VLC and you'll have the file. I'm going to cancel this and you see it turned it into a movie but it's not a full movie it would be all glitchy if we tried to play it um, I can't really show this to you simply because well, let me open it up briefly Save. so yeah <laughs> that should not give me a uh, uh, copyright issue but you can see that without selecting a subtitle file, see there's no track even listed, and I didn't have to add one. This is hard coded. What it essentially does is it takes those sub subtitles and makes them part of the video rather than a file that plays synchronously on top. It makes it part of the same file. And that's it. And that can come in handy in, in different ways. Um, for, for me, again, I have to use it for school. And what I'll do is take this movie and I'll cut it into 15 minute blocks so that we can play it at different times. You may have a different purpose for it. You can use, of course, it doesn't need to be English. It can be Korean. It can be Arabic. It can be French, whatever language. You just have to find the right subtitles for it from doing a Google search. Um, that's all there is to it. Uh, a friend of mine, a coworker, mentioned VLC for converting. I tried it with Handbrake and wasn't able to do it. Handbrake was what I had mentioned, but for whatever reason, the subtitles wouldn't show up. But with VLC doing it this way, it works really well and it goes pretty quickly. So hopefully that helps somebody out. Enjoy.